good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Ade Agus Wijaya. I'm from Faculty of Medicine Udayana University, Sanglah General Hospital, dan Pasar Bali. I will present our case in hospital, the title of Successful Treatment of Severe Ovarian Hyperstimulation Syndrome with Continuous Abdominal Paracentesis. For introduction, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome is often observed in patients undergoing control ovarian hyperstimulation cycles. The hallmark of ISS is the fluid shift from intravascular to third space due to increased capillary permeability. In its severe form, ISS is a serious and potentially life-threatening complication resulting respiratory failure, severe hemoconcentration, hypokalemia, and electrolyte imbalance. Acetes cause respiratory difficulty are typical in severe OSS. In patients with stents acetes, a recent study showed that abdominal paracentesis significantly paracentesis is performed to improve the in symptom urinary output regardless of medical treatment. Incomplete tapping might result in rapid recollection of uh, acetes, required retyping. The more time paracentesis is carrying out, the greater the risk of complication. This is our case. 30 years old, primary infertility, astenoteratosuospermia, non-patent tube bilateral, uh, body mass index was 20, weighing 4, and hormon basal, it's still normal limit. And patient uh, was done intra in vitro fertilization and ICSI with short protocol. We used, the, we used the recombinant follicle stimulating hormone start on day three with dose to 225 and uh, Gendrix antagonist. The trigger is the hormone gonadotropin chorionic gonadotropin with 10,000 and estradiol on HGG day two is a 400 picogram over milliliter. The ovarian response, we found 20 mature follicle and eight oocyte harvested, six oocyte mature and three fertilized. Embryo transfer was done, three H cell embryos transfers and progesterone for luteal uh, pay support. And nine days after open pickup, patient complained with nausea, vomiting, abdominal distension, as well as discomfort, shortness of breath, and weight gain. The blood pressure over still normal, uh, pulse like nine, uh, 92 bit over minutes, uh, slight uh, little breath. Tense acetes and abdominal circumference is 90 centimeters. The laboratorium results, uh, we found a slight uh, white blood cell, slight high white blood cell, and uh, electrolyte is still uh, normal, and liver function and creatinine Orange function is still normal, but we found the low of level albumin, 2.8 gram over deciliter, and the high mm, value of the dimer. And, ur and urine output of 500 milliliter over days. From the ultrasound, we found the uh, massive acetes in the intra-abdominal, and we diagnosed this patient is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome 
and this patient were hospitalized and continuous abdominal paracentesis of 1,000 milliliter over day was performed under ultrasonography guidance. How we do technique continuous abdominal paracentesis? We use advocate intravena six gauss was introduced into the large accessible acetic fluid packet in the upper outer quadrant of the abdominal wall under local anesthesia and trans abdominal ultrasound guidance. The needle was then removed and guide wire of central venous catheter. We use the Certofix B. Brown from Germany was inserted to the intravena cannula. The cannula was removed were, which were care so as to keep the guide wire in the peritoneal cavity. And the CVC catheter was guided into the peritoneal cavity by the wire and guide wire was removed. The catheter was incurred to, to the skin using two silk suturing. The catheter was then connected to a draining bag and was kept in place until drainage keys and acetates are resolved completely. Like the picture. And a total three liter of acetate fluid was drained over the next three days. Mark of improvement in the general her general condition, the dramatic uh, decrease in abdominal distension abdominal girth and weight with uh, improvement in urine output. Uh, body was body weight was 55 kilogram and the abdominal circumference was 80 centimeter and improved the lab laboratorium result and uh, urine output of 2000 and 500 milliliter over days. Injury to the enlarged ovary or visceral organ did not occur and peritoneal infection did not develop in this patient during the after paracentesis. And we found chemical pregnancy was confirmed by 761 of serum beta HCG 15 days after a pump retrieval. And one week later, uh, an intrauterine to gestational sac was noted by ultrasonography at our patient department. Uh, many risk factors are predictive factor for OSS. Uh, this patient, we found the risk factor uh, high uh, basal antimalarian hormone, slight high, and the young people, uh, uh, less than 33 years old, and a high number of, med of a median large follicle. We found more than uh, 30 follicle and or more than 11 milligram of diameter. In severe OSS, uh, severe acetes may occur and can lead to dyspnea, abdominal discomfort, and oliguria. To relieve acetes paracentesis, we is performed by repeated and or continuous removal. Paracentesis reduces intra-abdominal pressure in OSS and causes immediately uh, relief of dyspnea and renal perfusion. Paracentesis has not been found to have any adverse pregnancy outcome. Instead, it's increased uterine artery perfusion. Uh, recurrent invasive procedure in short period might increase the risk of infection and bleeding. 
therefore was reused on CVC catheter for continuous drainage in order to prevent multiple drainage procedure. We, the set, we use the set to fix the brown for Germany. CVC is highly flexible, safe, and certain positioning with king proof guide wire. This is a tool, like the picture. Uh, use benefit, uh, this tool, a safe and certain positioning, the king probe guide uh, wire, CPC insertion, and the safety approach. Many study reported uh, uh, use the continuous abdominal paracentesis like a chance at all describe a case report of severe OSS treated by continuous abdominal paracentesis. They concluded that earlier continuous aspiration of the aspirators would improve the patient condition as soon as eupolemia was reached. The Focated abdominal paracentesis with continuous drains to be performed early in such patient. And Dawood et al. in the study, the continuous versus intermittent paracentesis method were assessed by clinical and laboratory parameter of design outcomes. The continuous drainage via abdominal route was found to be superior, superior to the intermittent method in both clinical symptoms relief and laboratorium adjustment of hematocrit, electrolyte, and serum albumin. Nasri et al. report the advantage of continuous drainage in the study were following item, repeat improvement of symptom and signs, rapid return of oral feeding with rapid correction and electrolytes and albumin, rapid return to oral fluids, alleviating hemoconcentration, immediate immobilization, mobilization in a patient avoiding DVT, deep vein, uh, deep vein thrombosis, improvement of renal function after relief of compensation, avoiding repeated aspiration which are annoying to the patient and physician was as well and a greater safety of technique, no complication reported. And another case report uh, by Chin and et al. Uh, continuous abdominal paracentesis for management of late type uh, severe ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. This report suggests the early continuous abdominal paracentesis with drainage of aesthetic fluids in its efficacious fresh door for management of the severe ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome as soon as eupolemia is achievement clinically. Um, Dawood and uh, SRW uh, report continuous ovarian paracentesis is severe ovarian hypersonal syndrome uh, in a multicenter randomized clinical trial. Uh, the, stas, the study conclusion uh, is a continuous paracentesis through effective and safe for cases with severe OSS and shorter of duration of hospitalization and drug use with in immediate symptom relief. Uh, Abuz and et al. report uh, about this procedure. Outpatient management of severe ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome with placement of pigtail catheter. The conclusion, the placement of victim factor resulted 
in safe and effective outpatient management for majority of patient with severe OSS. Uh, and another uh, case report, uh, percutaneous placement of pigtail catheter is a safe and effective treatment modality for severe OSS. It's may present uh, an attractive alternative to multiple vaginal or abdominal paracentesis. Uh, and Ramahi, uh, case report, uh, get a novel approach to the treatment of ACITES uh, associated with ovarian overstimulation syndrome. Um, report continuous drain, drainage of ACITES with its efficient. It uh, quickly decreases the abdominal discomfort, improves the uterine output and prevent the need for multiple abdominal paracentesis, which some patient may require. This is a conclusion that continuous paracentesis of abscesses improve the patient comfort without need for repeated aspiration and may represent an alternative to multiple paracentesis in management of early severe OSS. Thank you.